What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today Apple has released iOS 8 Beta 3. Let's go ahead and take a look around the operating system to see what's new. Alright guys, so as you install iOS 8 Beta 3, one of the first options that you get greeted with is App Analytics. This will help you send information to developers if your app is crashing or having any issues. This is a new feature here in iOS 8 Beta 3. Now if you guys like to try out iOS 8 Beta 3 and you already have installed iOS 8 Beta 2, you simply go into Settings, then you go to General and Software updates and you'll get prompted to update to iOS 8 beta 3 that is if you have iOS 8 beta 2 but if you haven't installed it at all I'll have a direct link to my tutorial down below so you can upgrade to iOS 8 if you wish to do so and try it out it's very simple you go ahead and check out that video and for those jailbreakers out there don't worry you can always downgrade back to iOS 7.1.2 if you're looking to jailbreak, remember that downgrading process will only work until iOS 8 goes released to the public. So now it's the time to try iOS 8 to see if you like it for those of you that like to keep their jailbreaks. Now also in iOS 8 Beta 3, Apple prompts you to upgrade to iCloud Drive, which basically means you can edit any file or photo and continue editing that file or photo on an iPad or a MacBook. This is really cool. This is really taking over the iOS platform. iCloud was introduced at WWDC this past summer, so it looks like Apple Apple is now making it finally available for the iOS platform here in iOS 8 Beta 3. Now in iOS 8 Beta 3, Apple also added a toggle here so you can go ahead and adjust the settings for iCloud Drive. That is a new toggle there available on your iCloud settings. Now also under the settings panel in general, if you go down here, you see a new option to enable handoff. Now handoff is a very good feature that Apple added onto the iOS platform, which allows you to receive calls and text messages on any other of your iOS devices. But you can simply switch that off now here in iOS 8 beta 3. That is really cool because that could get annoying if you don't wish to use that feature. So now it has its own toggle there. You can switch it off if you wish to do so. Now also under the keyboard options, you get a new option here to enable or disable the quick type keyboard, which is Apple's new quick type feature. You can go ahead and enable it or disable it if you do not like the feature. So that's another cool option there. Now if we jump into the photos application, Apple introduced a new feature that if you delete a photo, it will still be stored on your device for a limited amount of time. Now that feature has a timer on when that picture is going to be completely deleted from your device just in case you accidentally delete a picture and you want to bring it back. That feature will help you prevent from completely deleting that photo. So it now has a timer telling you when it will be completely deleted from your device. Now also shared photo stream has now been renamed shared album. And those are some of the changes within the photos app. Now also in iOS 8, Apple introduced a new feature for the messaging application which will allow you to receive messages and it will delete automatically but now you have control over when those messages are deleted. You can choose a year, 30 days, but Apple does this to save space and create more space on your device because voice messages and other types of messages can take space but now you have control on when those messages will be deleted from your device from the messages app. Now also under wallpapers, Apple added a few steel wallpapers that you can choose from. Not many, but there's a couple there that are new. You can go ahead and choose different wallpapers as well. Now also other new features that I can't demonstrate to you guys is the ability to make phone calls over Wi-Fi. Right now it's currently available for only T-Mobile users, but you can also make phone calls over the Wi-Fi network and also some minor changes and enhancements for developers so I'm not going to get too in-depth in that but also iOS 8 just completely feels a lot smoother from iOS 8 beta 2 now beta 3 feels a lot smoother like always Apple it is really improving upon iOS 8 if you enjoyed this video guys please feel free to thumbs up don't forget that all the links will be down below and don't forget to follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google plus a lot of more cool videos coming your way here on the channel and I will catch you guys on the next one peace